Good evening. Welcome back. Uh, uh, just kidding. I don't know what time it is. Let me check my phone. 9-11. Thunderstorms are starting to kick in. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. A little testing and tuning. I'm going to leave some of the other stuff as a surprise. Let me see if I can try to hint it, right? Let me see if I can do this here really carefully. All right, so I was really busy. F and check got a new toy. Let's see if I can do this right here. That's all you're going to see. That's all you're going to see. <laughs> I spent all day modifying it and uh, making it Chet's, making it his own. And then we're going to fly tomorrow, hopefully. As you can see in my desk, can't show you over there. Damn, I almost caught myself. Anyway, so I got my stuff done today, the supermarket, kind of winding down after dinner. And I'm like, you know, I should set up Chet's wing. Let me grab mine real quick. Got to be super cautious of not turning around over there. So this is Beavis. It's the LD... It's actually right here. LDARC, which formerly is King Kong. 450X. It's called the Tiny Wing. Um, I got footage I got to work on of mine. I got this guy flying. Aftermarket prop. I got a string or glue. What? Oh, man. What is that? Fucking glue everywhere. Anyway. So I got it flying, and this thing's fun. I tweaked it a little bit. Can't wait to get it back up in the air. This is the second flying device that I have with only a whip antenna. Whip. Cool whip antenna on it. And very pleasantly surprised with how it, it's crooked. How it did. Um, these aren't meant to fly far. Or intended to. Whatever the thing is. You know, sort of close. Just fun. Um, proximity chasing. Following formation. So, uh, I stuck with it. Let me put that back over there. F and Chet's is done. I finished this as an intent just to glue the wing thingies on here and ended up doing the whole entire thing. All it needs is the setup with the transmitter, the bind plug, and all that fun jazz. I changed up the livery a little bit. Not that if you're flying through the goggles, it'll make a difference, but at least they're aesthetically slightly different where the graphics and stuff are. I, of course, I tagged it, F and Chet tag, explicit FPV. Should have made the C's bigger and closer, but C2C. Um, he's running a tiny bit bigger of a battery. You gotta go back over here. He's cotter batteries, so that's what he's gonna run. So you'll get a good flight time out of this. The little bay inside here, like mine, where I notched, it, it's got a, a recess and then a deeper recess for a shorter uh, 550, 450 size batteries and I took that deeper recess and then pushed it back and it ended up working out because I'm like, oh, I wonder and I grabbed those batteries and they were bigger so it pushed it back and uh, they fit great so he'll have room for adjustment for CG which is cool uh, for now, I'll have him try the props that it comes with, the orange props and then if he doesn't like them or wants some more oomph, I'll give him some of my green ones but it's done Tomorrow, maybe I'll have him do a video on his channel or do a live or something like that so uh, you can see his toy. I have been printing, so I started this print last night at 7.30, 8 o'clock, and it failed in the morning because I didn't have the temp up high enough. So I changed out filament, and it has been going for 12 hours right now. It's dusty as shit over here. Holy fuck still says 30 hours to go but it is printing super super clean all of this stuff in here is basically just support it's gonna be a huge skull and it's kind of like a honeycomb skull and you put a light in the, it's like a lamp sort of a desk lamp where you put a light inside of it I wanted to go big try something different and uh, so far so good there's literally it's tough to see through the phone there's literally just the ring of the head and all that weird looking shit in the center is all support because like I said as it comes up and it honeycombs there's no supports or anything like that but of course the printer's printing right where I want to look the lower there it is the lower jaw is coming out crisp as fuck and thanks to the wonderful light here you can see what the hell I'm doing but that's my Saturday I have a F ton to clean up and I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to clean up this is what happens and I've already spent two minutes sort of cleaning 
before I took a walk with my youngin. But everything gets sprawled. Um, again, just like mine, the original flight controller type thingy that came in that, we opted to completely abandon that whole process and just run a receiver. And it's just acro, which would make these things a little more fun. And it wasn't bad, even with slight wind, I was, it was very manageable. And again, with Expo and some rates and stuff like that, it'll really, really lock it in. Um, I think that's it. It's, again, he's running, if you have not seen my video on it, and this is new to you, I'll just touch on this in this disgusting mess of a desk. The VTX is right here, upside down. It is the Panda RC. I don't know the model number, but if you look up Panda RC VTX with beeper and LED, it is the only one and you'll find it. And the reason I went with the LED one, because it has a little tiny button right there, and that allows you to control smart LEDs. It comes with these, and at first intention, it, I was gonna use these, and I was gonna kinda embed them into the foam, so if we do dusk stuff, it would make this thing light up really kick ass. But, in the midst of me making mine, forgot, like a dummy, that it already had programmable LEDs from the King Kong Fly Egg 100, which was one of my first and favorite little rippers. <sighs> little bug. Um, so it was already pre-wired and when I was doing mine, I had ripped these out and then I had a epiphany, like senior moment, whatever it was, that, oh yeah, these are programmable, dumbass. So I could keep them there and not have to take them out and do custom and blah, 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 blah. So I had to rewire mine back in. His it was simple. I had to cut the plugs off that were attached to the flight controller that was in there and wire them and then wire them up to here. So they flash and they do what the programming, so it has solid colors, it has hyper flash, and then it has like a changing color and then change colors so I can set whatever he wants or if we just do solid colors to different colors then you'll be able to pick us apart which is really cool. Cat X Ant 1200 TVL, so pretty simple setup. Not a lot of room in there. Got a little bit of gluing to do. Once we program it and make sure that my servo plugs for these are in the right side. Because when I did mine, they were backwards, so they'd work together up and down. But then when you needed the other thing, I like how I rolled with that. They were going opposite of each other. Because there's only these two surfaces that control it for your pitch. And I'm going to say yaw, but it's whatever it is for planes. So we'll find that out tomorrow, and depending on weather, maybe we'll get this guy up in the air and we'll do some flying together. We'll see. But it's been a busy, busy, productive day, and uh, I look forward to hanging out tomorrow and getting some fun footage. So, on that note, can't wait to see that thing done. Thank you guys for tuning in. Any questions, um, let me know. If you are in the New England area and looking for people to fly with, help with anything, um, interested in joining a group, whatever it is, hit me up, let me know, and we'll talk. Peace.